So here, here's the line through swim bait. And this is our boom boom, this is our four inch, this is our smallest, co most compact. I love this bait pretty much anywhere that I'm gonna throw um, like a lipless crankbait or something like a square bill. Um, I do like it in that real clear water, even high in the water column, because it does run high. We call it a suspending swim bait, but it's just because it sits up high. It runs two to three feet under the surface. Um, you can add a little weights to it. You can stick nail weights in if you wanted to get down a little bit deeper, but really just straight out of the package. I do change the hook out. I put a size two Hayabusa round bend on there. Um, and just tied directly to your fluorocarbon. Here I got 15 pounds straight fluorocarbon. If the water's really clear and you're, you're targeting spotted bass and it's kind of open water situations, long bluff walls, I've even downsized all the way to 10 pound line. And that'll just kind of let you get a little deeper. See, with fluorocarbon, it's a sinking line, of course. But the heavier the fluorocarbon, the thicker it is, the harder to get down in the water column. So at 15 pound, I can run this right around three foot under the surface. Um, when I get down to 10 pound, I can get down to six to eight foot. It's just because of the density of the line and the diameter is so much thinner, it allows it to cut through and track deeper. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get your bait to swim a little bit deeper in the strike zone. Utilize your, your, your live scope or your forward facing sonar at all times if you can. Oh, we got some coyotes are hollering, huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, utilize your live scope because they'll, they'll tell you the depth of the fish you're suspended at. With a swim bait like this, they will come up three, four foot to hit it for the most part. Some areas, if they're really schooling on bait and you see a lot of diagonals, especially on just your regular 2D sonar, that means those fish are coming up at a, at a fast pace high in the water column. So um, yeah, utilize your, 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 your sonar. And then really this, this bait is just, it's simple to use. Um, we do have a harness version, but it only comes in a six inch. And that, you really need the wind to your back. You need to be going at a certain speed. You need to hold your rod up as you're retrieving it. This dude right here, I like to hold my rod down. And you'll watch the rod will just kind of shake because you'll feel this swim bait thumping. It's got that real tight, heavy, you know, that head action. We call it panic. It panics. It's got that tight head action, little belly roll, and that thump of the tail. I mean, it's everything you want in a little swim bait. And it's really soft. I mean, this dude right here has been probably one of my, my go-to Especially like when I'm fishing smallmouth, spotted bass, go-to baits. Um, here we are, it's, it's fall. It's that really tough time of the fall. You know, we got a couple weeks when, when all the leaves start turning and they start landing on the, the lakes and the fish just seem to shut down for a little bit. Lakes are turning over, baits starting to migrate to the bank. And when it gets to the bank, this is one of my go-to techniques right here. You know, you, you, you gotta have a top water tied on and you gotta have a line through swim bait. So we're gonna throw this a little bit today. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Um, as far as the rod is concerned with this swim bait, I take my square bills, I cut them off, and I put them on my square bill rod. Um, it's just a, it's a bait you can you can fling around cover, you know, not so much like vegetation cover because then it'll go to the weedless, but like lay down stuff like that. You want to work off the end. This bait right here is great because it just it just slowly works along the ends of those docks and um, you know lay downs, bluff walls, ridges. You know, shallow shoals, shallow points. I think today we're going to really focus on where I believe, without really knowing this lake, the better bait is going to be is going to be on the shallow points that stick out. So we're going to we're going to try to look for those kind of areas. And this is an early spring, summer. You know, in the summertime, I love throwing it early in the morning. I may start with a top water a little bit, and then eight nine o'clock come around i'm throwing this dude it just keeps it under the surface where they may not come up and commit in the heat of the day so um this dude right here is is bad to the bone <laughs>